Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. <clears throat> I'm going to do a video on a splitting, firewood splitting system. Basically, what you see here on the screen is the channel is called Ben's Invention. I'll show you a screenshot of that later. Ben's Invention is 100 pound splitting mill. He wanted to split wood, but he didn't want to do his hard work and he didn't want to use a lot of power or fuel or time. So he invented this system, and this is exactly what I had in my mind, something very similar to it. Realizing that the large, to the right there, the large angled post, that's basically, I'm going to call it your vertical. Um, that doesn't have to be metal, that can be a tree, you know, a dead tree or whatever. And you're going to be slamming up against that. The thing he's got, he's got a handle welded to that arm that it is near his hand, that's your about four inch post. I'm going to call the other one of one foot, maybe eight inches, what, one foot diameter, whatever. The vertical, the that's your impact point. That's going to be slamming against the impact point. So, you know, I tell you, you need three things you need power, pivot, and point, point of impact. So the point of impact is against the vertical post, the angled post, the larger one to the right that you see, the further away one. And the nearer one is the arm that swings. That's moving. That's going, you know, swinging from a pivot. So your pivot is where the two join. He's got a bar up there or something, an axle of some kind. It could be rope. It could be anything. It could be a hickory sapling that's at one inch diameter and a one and a quarter inch hole board through a tree. And the arm could swing from that. There's any number of ways to do it. Rope would last for a long, long time. So you have pivot, point, and power. The power is the 100 pound splitting mole, just kind of assisted by him swinging it. And that could be helped by, a, a, if you had a point back up here about where the B is, bent for Ben's invention, about where the B is, you could have a, another tree over there for, let's say, an elderly woman or a small lady or, a, you know, elderly, older man even. You could have a pulley there with the rope. So anytime you have what's called a snatch block or a pulley, a pivot point, it reduces your energy needed by half. So you could put a pulley there and it would it would reduce that 100 pounds to 50 pounds. So you could just pull down on the rope, the thing would swing out toward toward the B, toward the bend, toward the little thing in there on the left, and then um, when you let it go, it would just swing forward and you could help it along. So it would swing in and slam into the wood, which would slam into the sharp piece of steel, splitting mall, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to do some more. Now, the two videos on this series I did, Reinventing the Wheels, both Jerry and the Log Splitters, Part 20 and Part 9, that's the guy there in the thumbnail is Buck and Billy Ray Smith. He's a phenomenal man. You can learn a lot from him. He's, um, he does so much for people, and he has, he has an actual army, an army of kindness, and he's got like 100,000 plus subscribers. So he's building an army of kindness throughout the world, and um, you know, do, do good things to other people to help them. Once a month, he does something for somebody else at no charge. And he points out that if you do it and you expect something to get something out of it, then you've defeated the purpose and it's not going to work. But you'll be blessed for doing that. You'll be have a, you have joy in your heart and you'll, your life will be better and it'll come back to you. So, <clears throat> um, enough said there. But my point is, uh, those two videos have where I talk about this. And, you know, I'm tuning this video to make up for those two. But if you want to go back over those, review them about... I think I have on them in the description where to cut to the forward, you know, fast forward to three quarters of the way through or halfway through. So I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay, so here you see where that paint is worn off of that yellow piece, that vertical, the absolute vertical piece. That's his edge. That's his cutting edge. So you can see he could do a pretty good sized piece of wood there. And he has been doing it. The first piece he had on here. If you watch the video, it was about, I think it's the first piece of that piece that's laying there, but it was about a good, 50, I'd say, 15-inch diameter. And it didn't split it for the first blow, but the second blow, it whacked right through it. So that piece of metal is the only thing in this entire system here that you see that needs to be metal. And I'm asking you guys out there that, have, that are splitting wood to build one of these and give me pictures of it. Get the idea out there, spread it out so people can use it because... You know, there's no sense in paying fuel to split wood when you can do it like this and do it practically free. You know, once you get this set up, it's, it's you know, you don't have to pay money. You don't have to put gas in a splitter that doesn't do any more than this thing does. So, plus any splitting, 
hydraulics are fifteen hundred dollars, and then the, your kinetic ones are even more. And you're gonna they're gonna break down no matter what. One, one, whatever you kind you get is gonna break down at some point. You're gonna have parts gonna break. Something's gonna get clogged up. A hose is gonna break. Whatever. Watch Joe's fireworks. He was using a big one, and a piece of wood caught the thing and ripped the hose and it sprayed him. Just he got hoed with hydraulic fluid, hot hydraulic fluid. So anyway, things break down. This one, this is never gonna break down. You're gonna have to sharpen that edge once in a while, but big deal. That's it. Okay, so this is the title of the video, Ben's Inventions, 100 pound splitting wall. So he's setting up the piece of wood there. Swings it back. And, yeah, that, you know, it could be made, like I said, to make it easy, even easier than it is here. But with gravity, you know, he's, he's using some of his energy to swing it forward, but that's pretty minimal. And that could be done mechanically, too. Okay, so um, there is that same piece of wood he loaded there earlier is about ready to get hammered. There's actually split in two, and the head must have bounced back enough that it's not even there. There is a stopping point in the way he built this, so there's a you can see when it goes forward it stopped before it hits that steel, so it's not going to dull the steel. The splitting edge, the wedge. There you go, another one. Here he's getting ready to slide it forward, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, there's a piece of wood. There's a piece of wood on there. I think he just finished hitting it that time. Now he's got a piece of wood and he's about ready to hit it again. There's a piece there. We're looking right the camera's looking right down at it. Same one. And there it just hit it and bounced back a little bit. Or he's, he's picking up a piece of wood there, yeah. There he's getting ready to put another piece in place. There it's in place. Now we've got the camera, so it's coming at it. And there it just got hit. And it's flown up in the air. And there's another one here where it's actually a piece of wood's up in the air. Right there, it's about half and half. There's a piece of wood just flew up in the air. It got just hammered. It just blew to pieces, about three pieces I think that one went into. But watch the video, there, there's a screenshot of the channel, Ben's Inventions is the channel name. Uh, 1.02 thousand subscribers, about thousand subscribers. 100 pound homemade splitting mill. He's got some pretty good ideas, pretty good inventions, pretty cool. There's the first one. In this picture that thing's closer, but it looks like it's to me it's about 25 inches long, at least three feet maybe, and the other place it doesn't look, it looks about half that. Okay, so that, that, when he hit that the first time, it did not split it, and that's the second time he hit it there. And it, you can see it just blew it apart. There's halfway split. I'm just going to go through the rest of these until I get to the end of them. I hope you get the idea. I want people to build these things. Come on. Not that hard to do. I mean, yeah, I'm going to get one done eventually when I get a wee bit of help around here. I did sit down with a friend and show him these the other day, the guy that cuts the wood here, and he's, he's interested in, although he thinks that the head has to be a, um, metal. I'm like, no, it does not have to be metal. There's no piece of hickory with a, if I get a piece of hickory with a bunch of knots in it, you can't split it with a split mall. You have to split it with a splitter, and even then it's a hard, hard deal. It ain't gonna break, crack it or break it or ruin it. A couple of eye bolts in it to stabilize it, like two eye bolts. You know, if, if the thing, I'm imagining a piece about a foot diameter and then two eye bolts about six inches apart just kind of give it some stability so that you didn't put them like that, okay, along the length of the thing so that the, you could put an axle through there like a piece of uh, hickory sapling to stabilize it, a bolt, you know, a long bolt through it and then put a you know, you, you could stabilize it. There's any number. Once it gets going, there could be a thousand different versions of this thing. So please build one. I'm guaranteeing you that if you buy, if you put money into a motorized splitter, it's going to break down and you won't be able to use it at some point in time. I mean, right here where we're at, Bill and John have the only two splitters of anybody in the area. Nobody else has one. And both of them were broken down. John's was broken down for months. Bill's was broken down for several weeks until something... He needed some part or whatever.
But Chandra was literally down for months. So right now, you know, this is this is the time to do this. Make it. Build it. And I'm thinking about you just using a I in fact I bought one to do it with and I can't find it. A Fiskar splitting mall, the eight pound mall, the ISO 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 core mall. And just put that inside of a slide it up into the handle up into a piece of PVC or something or, or metal tubing and then drill a hole through the tubing and through the handle and put a bolt there to stabilize it. Okay. And then um then the, that's what's gonna slam into. So the handle, the steel sheathing, the steel pipe will protect it from hurting the handle of the thing, which it wouldn't do it wouldn't hurt it anyway. But um it's very fairly heavy duty mall. But so it's protected and the only thing you would need is that head. You could weld something, but why weld when you can do it with rope or something? So I'm, I'm, that's what I want to do. And if and when I find my mall, or I'll buy another one next month or whatever, but I'm going to build that. I'm hoping the mall shows up. So I bought one just for that, so I can use the new one to split with. I do that about every day, and use the old one for this for this contraption. So, all right, that's it. I hope that this audio comes out. I'm going to check it now. Go for it. Okay, this is Jerry Diamond. If you're listening to this, you are the remnant. Come out, get out, learn how to split wood. Set up your teepee this year, your tent for tabernacles, and get moving. The greater exodus is happening, people. You're going to miss it if you don't get on it.